everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 17th and 18th of april 2022 let's start the pradhan mantri sangrahalay museum is located in which city so prime minister narendra modi has inaugurated the pradhan mantri sangrahalay which is a museum that has been dedicated to all the prime ministers of the country since independence okay so prime ministers museum comprises of total 43 galleries and there are displays from the freedom struggle and the framing of the constitution as well so this sangrahalay basically highlights the achievement of the prime ministers right so this lies in new delhi now coming to the question slide let's see some of the important things that have been recently inaugurated nada bet seema darshan project was inaugurated in which indian state so union home minister amit shah has launched it along the indo pakistan border in the state of gujarat and the cost of the project is 125 crore rupees what is the objective this will actually help in increasing the people's respect towards the personnel of border security force and it will also help in boosting the tourism in this area and hence employment will also be generated fine varnika ink manufacturing unit of bharti reserve bank not mudran private limited has been inaugurated in which city so this has recently been inaugurated in mysore karnataka and capacity is 1500 metric tons and this particular unit has been set up to enhance the security of bank notes of the country okay and also it will help in boosting the made in india initiative right decentralized waste management technology park has been inaugurated at which state or union territory so it has been inaugurated in new delhi under the waste to wealth mission which is an initiative under the principle scientific advisor to the central government's office okay so it has been spread over 1000 square meter of area and capacity is 10 tons solid waste treatment facility per day okay india's first 100% women owned flo means fikki ladies organization industrial park was inaugurated in which city so it has been inaugurated in hyderabad to commemorate the international women's day when do we celebrate this day on 8th of march and this year what was the theme gender equality today for a sustainable tomorrow okay which union ministry inaugurated the ishan manthan festival so it has been inaugurated by ministry of culture where at new delhi and it is a kind of attempt to celebrate the plural expressions of northeast india biblobi bharat gallery was recently inaugurated at which city so it has been inaugurated in kolkata on the occasion of shahid divas so it depicts the contribution of the revolutionaries towards the freedom struggle fine next question which union ministry implements the rashtriya gram swaraj abhiyan so prime minister of india narendra modi has launched the rashtriya gram swaraj abhiyan the transformation of aspirational district program under the ministry of panchayati raj so this was approved 
in the year 2018 and it aims to transform the selected district and it would help 2.78 lakh rural local bodies to achieve the sustainable development goals and the union cabinet has approved a financial outlay of 5911 crore rupees for the Rashtri Gram Swaraj Abhiyan. Okay, so it approved the continuation of the centrally sponsored scheme from 1st of April 2022 up to March 31, 2026. Okay, so this was the main thing why this scheme was in news. Fine. So let's see some of the important ministries. Which union ministry implements the Pradhan Mantri Daksh Yojana? What is the full form of Daksh? Dakshta or Kaushalta Sampan Hitgrahi Yojana. Okay. And this ministry is implemented by social justice and empowerment. What is the aim? To make skill development schemes accessible to the targeted groups of SC, OBC and Safai Karamcharis. Which state implements the Mukhya Mantri Bhagwani Bhima Yojana? So this Yojana belongs to the state Haryana and under it the farmers will be compensated for the damage caused to their crops due to weather or natural calamities. Okay. Who is the chief minister of Haryana? Manohar Lal Khattar. And initial corpus of this scheme is 10 crore rupees. Which Indian state or union territory implements the Mukhya Mantri Park Sondar Karan Yojana? Answer is New Delhi. And under this scheme, parks and roads would be beautified up to the international standard. Which union ministry implements the grid connected rooftop solar program? Answer is Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. Actually as of March 2022, the government has installed 1252 megawatt RDS capacity in the residential sector. Okay. Which union ministry implements the credit guarantee scheme for subordinate debt? Answer is Ministry of MSME. Which union ministry implements the strengthening of pharmaceutical industry scheme? This is Ministry of Chemical and Fertilizer. Whenever you would heard about the name pharmaceutical, it would be related to Chemical and Fertilizer Ministry. Which union ministry implements the Swatantra Sanik Samman Yojana? Answer is Ministry of Home affairs okay next question who has been awarded the international gandhi award for leprosy 2021 so vice president m venkaiya naidu presented the international gandhi award for leprosy to dr bhushan kumar from chandigarh and sahyog kushtha yagna trust from gujarat and this annual award was instituted by Gandhi Memorial Leprosy Foundation and the National Leprosy Eradication Program has been trying to ensure total eradication of leprosy in India. Okay. Now let's see some of the important awards. Which racing driver won the Australian Grand Prix 2022 tournament? So recently this tournament has been won by Charles Leclerc. Deepika Pallikal who won the mixed doubles and women's double title recently plays which game so she is related to squash who won the excellence award in otm mumbai recently answer is maharashtra tourism which country won the icc women's world cup 2022 so this event took place in new zealand and australia has won this tournament by defeating the country england which state won the best state award at the National Water Awards 2022? Answer is Uttar Pradesh. Which racing driver won the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix 2022? This is Max Verstappen. Next question. Which Indian state announced to celebrate the birth anniversary of Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar on 14th of April as Equality Day? So Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin has announced in the Legislative Assembly that the birth anniversary of Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar on 14th of April would be celebrated as Equality Day from this year. And also he said that a pledge would also be taken across the state on the day. And the government also plans to translate 
and publish some of the selected books of Ambedkar in Tamil language. Okay. Let's see some of the important days. When is the World Art Day observed every year? It is observed on 15th of April. Next is, when is the World Chagas Day observed every year? So this is a kind of disease and 14th of April is observed as this day every year to raise awareness about this life-threatening disease. And later on, it can also cause serious heart and digestive issues. So World Chagas Day was first observed last to last year means in 2020. Which Indian state announced to celebrate the birth anniversary of Dr. Ambedkar? Just I've told you it is Tamil Nadu. Also do remember that the birth anniversary of Mahavir who is the 24th and last Tirthankar of Jainism is celebrated as Mahavir Jayanti by Jains across the world. And this year this Mahavir Jayanti falls on 14th of April. So Jain obey the five principles conveyed by Mahavir which are these Ahinsa, Satya, Astya, Brahmacharya and Aparigra. Okay. Indian Army marks Siachen Day on 13th of April every year to commemorate which operation? In the last lecture we have talked about this news in a detailed manner. Answer is Operation Make Doot. National Safe Motherhood Day is celebrated in India on 11th of April, the birth anniversary of which famous personality? So this is the birth anniversary of Kasturba Gandhi. Next question. CBIC has notified exemption from custom duty and agriculture infrastructure development says on which product? So the Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs has notified the exemption from the custom duty and agriculture infrastructure development says for the import of raw cotton. And this exemption would benefit the textile chain means yarn, fabric, garments and made-ups and provide relief to the textile industry and consumers. Also industry has been demanding for removal of 5% basic customs duty and 5% agriculture, infrastructure and development says on the raw cotton earlier. Okay. Now let's see some of the important agriculture related current affairs. Indian agriculture towards 2030 book was launched by Niti Aayog along with which institution? So this book was launched by Niti Aayog along with FAO that is Food and Agriculture Organization. You have to tell me where does the headquarter of this organization lie? How much amount has been allocated for agriculture road map 3 means 2017 to 2000? 22. Answer is 1.54 lakh crore rupees. For which year did Union Energy Minister R.K. Singh announce that India will use the zero diesel in agriculture and replace the fossil fuel with renewable energy? So we would do that by 2024. What is the name of the Yes Bank initiative to collaborate on the development of digital financial solutions for the agriculture sector? What is the name? Yes Bank Agriculture Infinity. Okay. Also do remember that recently ICICI Bank and GIFT Special Economic Zone have signed a memorandum of understanding to promote the GIFT Special Economic Zone to Indian as well as global businesses including the IT enabled services and financial services. Okay. So GIFT Special Economic Zone is the country's first international financial services center which is being developed as a global financial services hub. And both of them will jointly work towards attracting the global investors and capital market firms to set up the operations in GIFT Special Economic Zone. Fine. Agriculture, infrastructure and development says was reduced to cut the tax on importing which product? Answer is crude palm oil. Malkangiri which topped the most improved aspirational district in agriculture and the water resources sector is in which state? It lies in Odisha. Right. Next question. Which Indian state has recently slipped into a power crisis due to shortage of coal? 
So Punjab slipped into a power crisis due to a shortage of coal and against the installed capacity of 5,680 megawatt of thermal power plants, only 3,150 megawatt power is being generated. So several power plants including Talwandi Sabo power plant and that at Goindwal Sahib were operating at reduced load or shut down with no coal to operate it. Okay. Now let's see some of the important states. Which Indian state is the host of the FIH Hockey Men's World Cup 2023? Answer is Odisha. Chinna Keshwa Temple, which was seen in the news recently, is located in which state? It lies in Karnataka. Asian Development Bank signed an agreement with India to offer $2 million for the urban development project in which state? Headquarters of ADB lies in Philippines and it has signed this agreement with the state Nagaland. Camp Bill Bay, which was recently hit by an earthquake, is located in which state or union territory? Answer is Andaman and Nicobar Islands. You have to tell me Cyclone Asani has hit which country? Japan International Cooperation Agency is set to fund which state to upgrade the health infrastructure through a 3,800 crore rupees project? Answer is the state Assam. Which state assembly adopted a resolution against the central university's common entrance test? Answer is Tamil Nadu. Next question. Kripan Shakti integrated fire power exercise was held in which state? So this exercise is an integrated fire power exercise at Tista field fighting ranges near Siliguri in West Bengal. And the exercise was aimed at combining the capabilities of Indian Army and the Central Armed Police Forces to fight an integrated battle. Fine. Now coming to the question slide. Khanjar is a joint special forces exercise held between India and which country? So Khanjar is the exercise between India and Kyrgyzstan. Varuna is the bilateral naval exercise between India and which other country? So Varuna is between India and France. Which is the venue of Indian Ocean Naval Symposium made in Maritime Exercise 2022? Answer is Goa. In March 2022, which edition of the Slenex Bilateral Naval Exercise between India and Sri Lanka took place? So this was the ninth edition this year, but not very relevant. Only thing important is Slenex is the exercise between India and Sri Lanka. Prasthan is an offshore security exercise conducted by which armed force? Answer is Indian Navy and this is conducted every six months to ensure the offshore security. Exercise Daslik is a joint defense exercise held between the armed forces of India and which other country? Answer is Uzbekistan. Next question. Which institution has announced that $2.2 million in climate action grants for the local innovators. So the United Nations Development Program and the partners of the Adaptation Innovation Marketplace have announced $2.2 million in the Climate Action Grants for 22 local innovators across the 19 countries including India. And this initiative empowers the local actors and contributes to the principles for locally led action which have been endorsed by UNDP and the partners around the world. So this funding will basically enhance the local climate action and accelerate the delivery of targets of the Paris Agreement and the Sustainable Development Goals. Fine. Now let's see some of the important climate related current affairs, which is the host country of COP28 Climate Summit Dohazar Pace. Answer is UAE. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change in its recent assessment report mentioned which Indian city for sustainable transportation. So this city is Kolkata. A new project to enhance climate resilience of the coastal communities has been initiated across which states. So this has been initiated across Andhra Pradesh, Maharashtra and Odisha. Which Indian city released a climate action plan 
and laid down 30 years roadmap to tackle the challenges of climate change. The city is Mumbai. Can you tell me the first water taxi service was inaugurated in which city? As per the Deloitte 2022 sustainability report, the disconnect between ambition and impact, Indian businesses rank dash in their concern for climate change. So we are at fifth rank in the concern of our climate change. Who has been announced as the first United Nations Development Program India Youth Climate Champion? So UNDP has selected Indian content creator and YouTuber Prajakta Kohli as its India Youth Climate Champion. Okay. Next question. Which Indian chess player won the 2022 Reja Vic Open Tournament? So Indian Grandmaster Pragnananda R recently won this tournament in Iceland. Do remember that Pragnananda is the fifth youngest person in the world to achieve the title of Grandmaster in the year 2018. Okay. Coming to the chess related current affairs, which Indian city is the host of 44th World Chess Olympiad in 2022? This city is Chennai. Which city is the host of Senior National Chess Championship 2022? Answer is Kanpur. Nodir Beg Abdusatrov, the youngest ever World Rapid Chess Champion, is from which country? So he belonged to the country Uzbekistan. Which chess player won the FIDE World Championship? Answer is Magnus Carlsen and he belonged to the country Norway. Which country won the FIDE World Women Team Chess title at Spain in 2021? Answer is Russia. Ho Yifan, who won the 2021 Women's Speed Chess Championship is from which country? So she is from the country China. Next question, who is the first Indian cricketer to hit 10,000 runs in T20 cricket for men. So Team India and Mumbai Indians captain Rohit Sharma has become the second Indian batter to complete 10,000 runs in the T20 crickets for men. And Virat Kohli became the first Indian batter to score the 10,000 T20 runs last year while West Indies legend Chris Gale was the first cricketer in the world to reach the five-figure mark in T20 cricket. And Rohit Sharma achieved this historic milestone during the match against the Punjab Kings. Okay. Now let's see some of the important cricket-related current affairs. Which Indian cricketer has been presented the prestigious Sports Icon Award? This has been given to Suresh Raina. Which Indian cricketer recently became the highest wicket taker in the history of the Women's World Cup? Answer is Jhulan Goswami. Who is the first Indian woman cricketer to appear at 6 ICC Women's Cricket World Cup? Answer is Mithali Raj. Which cricketer has the highest wicket haul in test matches? This is Murli Dharan. Who is the only second player to win ICC Women's Cricketer of the Year award? This is Smriti Mandhana. And who is the first player to win this title? Answer is Jhulan Goswami. Okay. Also to remember that ICC Men's Test Cricketer of the Year 2021 award was given to the English captain Root. And ICC ODI Cricketer of the Year 2021 was given to Pakistan skipper Babar Azam. Right. Who is the only Indian cricketer? To feature in the ICC T20I Team of the Year for 2021. Again answer is Smriti Mandhana. Indian cricketer Rishabh Pant has been appointed as the brand ambassador of which state? So Rishabh Pant is now the brand ambassador of the state Uttarakhand. You have to tell me Manika Batra who has become the brand ambassador of Adidas recently plays which game? Do let me know in the comments. Now let us start with today's quiz. Here on the slide you can see 5 questions which have been taken from the past 2-3 days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked this session. These were the important news and events from today. 
and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this minus hatsana signing off